All right, bud. What did we get done this weekend? Um, today is day 177, so 175 to 177. We um, we bought a battery, so in preparation for that, we kind of moved our setup now. So our whole area used to be right there. We kind of made room for a big pallet with a battery on it. Yeah. Yep. It's and supposed then... to show up this week, so we bought a Chevy Volt battery out of a salvage yard in california it's supposed to show up this week on a freight truck so we're trying to get as much room in the garage ready so when it shows up we don't have to move a bunch of things and then uh last time in our last video when we were spinning the motor at high speeds the transmission or something was making a rattling or a clanking noise or something so we figured we'd take off the transmission and uh spin it without the motor to see if it's the motor doing that or if it's something in the transmission Mm -hmm. um, we think it's something in the transmission, but we have to open it up and see what's what's going on in there. Mm -hmm. um, we got a relay and uh, hooked up for the uh, coolant pump down there. Yeah, we were just kind of powering it mainly, and we know in the future we're going to want to go through a relay, so we went ahead and wired it up into our relay box. That's right. I think... And I also, we I don't think we've ever shown the little animation we have for this guy. So when we power it on, we can show people the little cool animation that we came up with. It's similar to the intro of the video. Of the video, it's yeah. Kind of different. Other than that, I think that's it. Yeah, and we also, we were having trouble. My shop was so full of parts, we couldn't walk over there. So we, we took some of the exhaust parts and stuff, started <laughs> setting them aside in the back. We just don't have enough room here. but So we, put so we did some cleanup work. Okay, but now the goal is to find out if the vibration noise is coming from the motor or from the gearbox. So the, the thing is, is before when we ran the motor only, we didn't have coolant and we didn't have, uh, we hadn't verified that there was fluid in the transmission. So we never wanted to spin it quickly. So we did that. We heard the noise. Now we took the transmission off. And now for the first time, we're going to run the motor at high speed, um, but with no transmission. So... You want to go ahead and do that? Where are we at in the checklist? Uh, I think we just turned the VCU on. I think. And you'll see the screen come on when you flick it on. Yeah. So, I mean, it's similar to the intro of this video, you know. I think that's pretty awesome. Same trace animation. That it's and then yeah, it goes back to our it. screen. Um, okay, so uh, you in forward? see we've got good battery voltage good inverter voltage just put it in forward uh, let's start the uh, well here's the uh, motor rpms and torque commanding so why don't you go ahead and get it up to maybe three or four thousand we'll see what it sounds like oh I don't hear the pump going uh, it's not plugged into the bus bars right now is it yeah it is it's supposed to be sounds like that relay didn't kick on did you just think oh maybe wait well, when does it come on I don't know. Let's pause this. Okay, we're back. We figured it out. We I had wired up the new relay and everything, and I forgot to put in the new fuse. It was wired for a fuse, and I never put one in. So put the fuse in. That sounded good. Okay, so let's see if we can get the... Um, are you backing forward? Yep. Okay, let's see if we can get to uh, about 3,000 RPM. It's a lot higher than 3,000, but oh, our screen reset. Let's, um, we've obviously got a power issue there. Um, let's try type uh, dot slash start and hit tab, decode DEC and hit tab, hit enter, make your screen bigger. And then, uh, all right, so there's our output revolution RPM. Let's see if we can get it to about seven or eight thousand RPM. I did hear that sound though. I did hear a little bit started of started to hear it. I didn't quite hear the same rattling noise before. Let's get to about seven or eight thousand. So, where's our right here? Okay.
2000. All right, let's get to about six or seven. going. Take it up to about eight. Go ahead, give it more gas. Start to lose voltage. Alright, that's good. Can let it go. Okay, well, I mean, cool. yeah, I heard, uh, that's the first time we've taken it up that high, that I heard like maybe it's some very slight it vibration, but no, that's not the noise that we heard. The other noise we heard was more like a rattle. You could hear it grunting towards the end, so I can't remember if we caught that on video last time or not, but yeah, we did. So that's definitely not the same noise. So I'm pretty sure that means our problem is somewhere in here, which is... Good, I guess. I mean, I, I think I have a better chance of fixing this than I do of fixing a motor. So, you know, next step will be to get this thing open. A few theories is that the parking paw, this thing that's disconnected in there, maybe vibrating at really high speed. We're, we don't need it, so we're going to take it out. Another theory on some of the forums was that maybe this brushes in here, which is uh, the grounding brush, maybe some that's loose or disconnected or something. So we'll check that. Um, but you know, we'll open it up, drain all the fluid, open it up, and just see what we see. If nothing else, we're going to learn about it, right? Yep. All right. Good job this weekend, and then hopefully, I guess, in our next video, we'll have a battery to, to play with.